So this is something I wasn't planning on doing today, but I needed to say something about this just to kind of get, you know, my feelings out on this matter. Uh, earlier today, I was informed that Tom McComas, the founder of TM Books and Video in Michigan City, Indiana, has passed away at the age of 86. Um, to say that Tom's legacy impact on this hobby is tremendous is an understatement. Uh, through the popular I Love Toy Train series, you know, that series alone just gave thousands of kids in the 90s and 2000s, like myself, you know, to fall in love with O Gage Trains, Lionel, and American Flyer S Gage, and, you know, pretty much just toy trains in general. You know, I would watch the I Love Toy Train series as a kid, and I would see these just spectacular layouts and go, I could do something like that when I'm older. I can get models like that. I want trains like those. And, you know, I've amounted a good HO collection, but there is just something special about seeing O-Gage trains, you know, especially the older post-wars. And it was just Tom's work that just made me fall in love with it, and I just can't get enough of it to this day. Uh, I first met Tom, uh, according to my Facebook, five years ago today, um, at the store in Michigan City, Indiana, and I bought a couple of things from there, and then the last time I saw him was last year, uh, last August, when I was on vacation in Illinois and Michigan, and I made a stop at the store and saw him again and met his wife, Cheryl, and, um, you know, bought some more stuff there. He was kind enough to sign my cop my old book copy of the uh, Great Toy Train Layouts of America and my MTH I Love Toy Trains boxcar. And he was just an just a true gentleman from the uh, even from the brief moments I got to converse with him. Um, I was at the store uh, just a few months or a few weeks ago and went to you know pick up these. Uh, Richard Sherry custom painted Kansas City Southern F3s that Cheryl was kind enough to put on hold for me for for a few months so I could uh, stop by and pick them up and um, he sadly wasn't there and when I asked her how he was doing she told me eh, he's old he's tired you know it takes some days to get out of bed he was like and I understood completely you know he was up there in age but you know today finding out that he has passed is. It, it hurts. It really does. Because, like I said, the, the impact that he made on this hobby to reach out to my generation was just... It's something that really can't be topped or replaced. You know, you got YouTubers out there who, you know, who are exposing, you know, younger ki current kids to OG okay, Show Trains. I think that's great, but there was just a lot of whimsy and wonder that you could just see from all of Tom's work. You know, like I said, I'd rather be I Love Toy Trains, Toy Train Review, Great Toy Train Layouts of America, Lionel Nation, Tim Plate Legends in Action, Great MTH Layouts, just the list goes on. And, you know, and and we're, me and my friends, you know, who were, are avid TM fans, we're going to miss him dearly, you know. He lived a good life. And just brought the joy of toy trains to everybody. You know, and it's gonna be gonna be a big hole missing in the hobby. You know, something that that again, I, I probably will never be filled, no matter who's out there. Um, you know, fly, fly, flying the flag for O Gage, either on YouTube land or in or in magazine form or wherever. Um, Cheryl, Jeff, Tom Jr., um, Joe Statchler, uh, Bob Phillips, if you guys ever come across this video, I want to offer my deepest condolences to your loss, and hopefully you guys can have t plenty of time to grieve, and we'll, hopefully, this isn't the end for TM, but please t take care of yourselves, look out for each and remember the good times you had with him. Yeah. And I think that's about all I can say on this matter. 
Tom, fly easy, keep smiling.